Hi, I'm Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and we have Andrew Healer with us today, the president of We Are Memory Keepers, and I asked him to come show me this awesome new tool that I keep hearing all this buzz about called the Cinch. So Andrew, take it away. Tell me a little bit about this tool. Well, this is a binding tool, and you're going to be able to do just about any kind of binding you want to do with this. Um, it's got like the $500 to $2,000 machines. Those machines have been tweaked and built into this thing so that it can do all kinds of functionality at a great low retail price and you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. So so let me ask you this for somebody that maybe sees that and it looks like a big you know not I mean just like yeah. a tool mm -hmm. you know and says oh I'm a little scared it's gonna be too hard. Yeah well a, a great comment and we love to hear hear that so that this next sentence you say after you've played with it is I can't believe how easy that is um, and that's really what we wanted to to get out of this and we have so so show me a little bit about let me this. show you yeah we've got well it comes it comes compact you can you can store it like this um, there's a little thing on here that you just release and it opens it up um, everything's built into one now if you're like me you never keep your instructions around right no. so like you said don't be scared <laughs> because we we put the three easy steps to making a binder right here on the front also, Love it. if you're like me, you don't know how to measure anything. Um, I don't measure. Andrew, do you know that my rule is, you know, what is it? Uh, measure twice, cut once. Yes. And I say life is too short. And then you just do it wrong. Yeah. 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 So well, this is great. That if, it's all built on. If you're on. like me, yeah, you're not even going to have to think about it. On the front here, and I'm just going to lift this up so that you can see it perfectly. Um, it says inches, and then it tells you which peg to pull out. Now, one of the neat things about this tool is that the pegs are independently driven. So as it comes down, you can see they come down at different times. Yeah. That helps for two things. One, you don't have to be as strong as an ox to punch through things like chipboard and, and thin acrylics and things like that. You can be a dainty little lady and <laughs> like still myself. be able to do this. Yes. Um, it also <laughs> means that I can pull these pegs out independently and you can see some of them don't come down. So I can determine where I'm going to punch a hole and where I'm not. Okay, I love that because that so many times I've had pattern paper yeah. that I've wanted to make a binder out of, but it, it, it cuts off like the part that I want. You know what I mean? Yeah, the designs. Yeah, yeah, so I love absolutely. that. And a lot of times we're doing a smaller book and you try to do it and you cut that little half moon on the edge of both of your covers. Yep. It doesn't look good. So what we've done here is on this inches, um, you can come along here and just decide, well, if I'm going to do a six inch book, I need to pull peg 12. If I'm going to do an eight and a half by 11 book, I'm going to pull that peg. It's so simple. Okay, this really so is easy. It's really cool. So here I have, I've got a 12 inch board. I'm going to grab my 12 inch again and it's going to tell me to slide it out and then pull peg 12. So let's okay. do that right now. So we slide it in here. I'm going to give it a squeeze. You can see that it punches all of those. I'm going to slide this guide out. And as a note here, this guide can actually pop this off. So you can make it 24 inches, 36 ah. inches. You can go as far as you want. A lot of people think just because it's a six inch tool, I can only do a six inch yeah. book. You can go as far as you see, want. See, I had no idea you could do that. So that's Absolutely. totally cool. Yeah, really fun. And on the side here, there's a little peg that comes down. And so I'm just going to put that in the second hole over. What that does is it keeps it registered. I can't move it now. Now we're going to go ahead and pull that peg number 12. Okay, so now that's not going to create the half moon. Christine, why don't you go okay, ahead and give it, a, scared. give it a push. How easy was that? And that's thick chipboard. Holy cow. It's like you guys have taken the same like ease of the crocodile and like put it into this tool. That's great comment because it's actually the same punches in the crocodile. Only you've got 12 of them. See, I love it. And look how perfectly that is from side to side. And guess who didn't measure a dang thing as we did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I love about to this tool. So no, let's go ahead and make a project okay. because that's always the fun part is to make a project. Now, some of the neat things about this, a lot of times when we're doing projects, we spread everything around. I have this little hook here that I can hook my wires on so as I do my pages I can just go ahead and put them on now this is something I'm gonna do um, that I'm gonna need let's see one two three four five six wires so I'm gonna pull out peg number seven because that's gonna keep me there now you see I've got a bunch of cards yeah here. you've got a lot you can actually do um, up to 20 sheets of say copy paper at a time um, so it's really so, strong I mean you could just do a book in just minutes and not have to do I hate when you have to do like a, just a couple at a time yep. a couple at a yep. time I'm doing lots of sheets at once um, you'll find that it's very fast once you're once you're doing a project this that you really right love. here is so brilliant because do you know like with with other machines that I've I've tried you have to sit and try to hold the wire yep. and thread the papers on well, and inevitably it comes you get it onto the end hook yep. and it comes off the middle this is so smart so simple and like I said our designers try to think of everything to make it simple and we just watched people spreading all their pages out and then trying to thread them on the yeah. wire after the fact and it just became so complicated okay that right there I am completely sold just from that feature yep. and so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do 
our front covers and you just do it the same way, okay? So this is actually your back cover. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do the front cover, let's see. So we want this this way. This is kind of a fun little project that I'm this doing. This cute little to-do list. Little to-do. So I'm gonna set that right there. Now you're wondering, why am I putting yeah, the back cover on Yeah, why are you putting it on last? backwards? I do that because when I'm done crimping the wire, I can flip that over and hide the spine at the back. Love it, very so smart. Now we're gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna turn this. Okay, and so on the back side here, you'll see that I actually have a guide that lets me move this bar up and down, and I can set it to whatever measurement I want. So right now I've got it at the one inch mark, and you've got everything from 1 16th to 3 4 But actually you can watch it as you, as you crimp it down. So if, as I'm crimping, I want it to just pass the guides just enough that the two hairs just cross, and then when it releases, it'll be perfectly matched up. So that's what we've done. Now we that flip that so back cover cool. over. Right, so it hides the spine, and then I've got my honeydew list so that I can show everything off I and just tear those off. I and... love it, and I love it. I mean, that just crimps so smoothly. Yeah. And it didn't seem like it took, like, no. it's no effort. No, not at all. And you're not gonna pinch your finger. You can go all the yeah. way down and it's not gonna grab you. Well, I would so. probably pinch my finger, Andrew. <laughs> I would find a way. I've really tried but to no. make it so you can't, so. <laughs> no, I love it. I think that's awesome. So, Andrew, th thank you so much for stopping by. This is Absolutely. definitely, I mean, when I when I first saw this, I thought, oh, I'm scared. It, there's, there's rulers on it, I'm gonna have to measure, you know, yeah. but the fact that the matter is I cannot believe how much you've packed into this little tiny machine. It does so many different things. Yes, and, and trust me, I've looked at these $400 dollar machines to $2,000 machines, you're getting your money's worth. This is a great tool. Completely. Andrew, thank you so much. You can check out other how-to videos. Andrew's going to stick around and, and show us the hot, new, so easy tool that you can check out how to use that one as well. If you're interested in getting the cinch, which I think it is a household staple, I think that you would save so much money and, and be able to put together so many customized albums. You don't have to buy an album again. No, you, you seriously, you would never have to buy another album. You can purchase it at wearememorykeepers.com or you can just go to your favorite retail outlet and purchase one there. So thanks, Thank Andrew. Yep.